Welcome back. Part two of my predictions for the NHL playoffs. Justin, Bridgewater's Finest on YouTube, Blockbuster underscore guy on Twitter. So in the last video, I gave you who I thought was going to win the divisions in, the, uh, in both the Eastern and the Western Conferences, just to run those over for you one more time. The Eastern Conference, I'm predicting the New York Rangers, the Boston Bruins, and the Florida Panthers to win their respective divisions. And in the Western Conference, I'm going Vancouver Canucks, Detroit Red Wings, and Phoenix Coyotes. So those teams will make up the 1, 2, and 3 seeds on both conferences. But who else is going to make it? Let's talk about it. Right now, in the Eastern Conference, I'm just going to hit you with the conference standings as of today. Uh, in the Eastern Conference, today, by the way, is March the 5th. I had to check and make sure. Uh, the Eastern Conference standings sit like this. New York Rangers, number one with 91 points. Boston Bruins, number two with 79 points. Florida Panthers, number three with 74 points. Pittsburgh Penguins, number four with 81 points. Philadelphia Flyers, number five with 79 points. New, uh, New Jersey Devils, number 6, with 77 points. Ottawa Senators, number 7, with 76 points. Winnipeg Jets, number 8, with 70 points. Washington Capitals, number 9, with 69 points. Tampa Bay Lightning, number 10, with 68 points. Buffalo Sabres, number 11, with an identical 68 points. And the Toronto Maple Leafs, number 12, with 67 points. These are the 12 teams in the Eastern Conference that I think still have even a remote outside shot of making the playoffs. If we look at the Western Conference, number one, Vancouver Canucks with 90 points. Number two, St. Louis Blues with 89 points. Number three, Phoenix Coyotes with 75 points. Number four, Detroit Red Wings with 89 points. Number five, Nashville Predators with 83 points. Number six, Chicago Blackhawks with 79 points. Number seven, Dallas Stars with 75 points. Number eight, San Jose Sharks with 73 points. Number nine, LA Kings with 72 points. Number 10, Colorado Avalanche with an identical 72 points. Number 11, Calgary Flames with 70 points. Number 12, Anaheim Ducks with 66 points. And number 13, Minnesota Wild with an identical 66 points. These are the 13 teams in the Western Conference that I still think have a legitimate shot to make the playoffs. So, what's going to happen? Uh, in the Eastern Conference, I actually don't expect that there's going to be a whole heck of a lot of turnover uh, in terms of how the division standings are right now. I think, as I said, the 1, 2, and 3 seeds are going to stay the same as they are right now, New York, Boston, Florida. I think uh, Pittsburgh is probably going to hold on to the number 4 seed. Uh, I've got them probably hitting, topping the 100 point uh, uh, margin, so I figure they will hold on to the number four seed. Uh, I've actually got the Devils hopping up one and taking the fifth seed from Philadelphia, um, and that's just based on uh, I don't really like what I'm seeing in Philadelphia these days uh, in terms of either the way they're playing or the goaltending that they're getting behind them. I know Brisgalov just came off a really good game, uh, but until I start seeing more, a lot more consistent goaltending out of Philadelphia. But I think New Jersey is going to end up leapfrogging them, and that New Jersey will get take the fifth overall seed in the Eastern Conference. I think Philly will hold on to take the sixth overall seed. Uh, seventh overall seed, I think, will stay unchanged. I think Ottawa will hold on to that. Now, in terms of the eighth overall seed... And the 8th overall seed is the last team to make the playoffs, as we all know. Uh, I think there's three teams that's really in the running for it. And it's those three teams are Winnipeg, Washington, and Tampa. Uh, only two points separate these teams. Um, and based on the way that the, the way that both of them are playing right now, you would think that Tampa would be the one that would overtake them. Because Tampa, as we mentioned before, uh, has won seven of their last ten games and are playing, I would say, the best hockey of all three teams. However, based on the way I expect the rest of the season to go and my point projections, 
I am giving my prediction for the number eight overall seed to the Washington Capitals. I know they've only won four out of their last ten, but based on the rest of their schedule, Washington is the only other team here that I could see potentially hitting 90 points. Uh, I don't see uh, Winnipeg hitting 90 points, and I don't see Tampa Bay hitting 90 points. Uh, I certainly don't see either Buffalo or Toronto coming close to that. Um, so, you know, I have to go with Washington, and I know Washington's got team turmoil, uh, their goaltending's not playing the greatest, um, Ovechkin is not playing like Ovechkin, but based on the way the rest of the season's going to go, I think Washington's the only team there with even a remote outside shot to hit 90 points at the bottom of the, at the, bottom of the conference, so have to go with the Washington Capitals to get the number eight seed in the Eastern Conference. Move on to the West. Um, as I said, of course, Vancouver, I think, will be the first overall seed. Detroit, I think, will be the second overall seed. And Phoenix, I think, will be the third overall seed by way of winning their divisions. Uh, now, as far as the other playoff teams, uh, I said in the previous video that uh, the battle in that division between Detroit and St. Louis is going to be very close. I think it will be very close, and it will be good enough for St. Louis to snag the fourth overall seed. Uh, I think, based on the rest of the season, Nashville is going to stay right where they are, potentially cracking 100 points. I think they'll hold on to the number five overall seed as they sit right now. Uh, number six, I'm actually picking the Dallas Stars to jump up over Chicago and take the number six overall seed. Uh, Dallas is playing, has only lost once outright in their last uh, in the last ten years. Sorry, they've only lost once. Uh, once in regulation in the last 10 games. Uh, so they're picking up points all over the place, 16 of the, of the possible 20 in the last 10 games. So I think they're playing the best hockey, well, first, the best hockey that I've seen them play all season, uh, and the best at the sort of bottom part of the Western Conference there. So I think Dallas will leapfrog Chicago, and I think they will take the number uh, six overall seed, sorry. Uh, I think Chicago then will take the number seven overall seed uh, because they're certainly no slouches and they're playing good hockey right now. Uh, Chicago, I think, will probably crack 90 points. Dallas, I think they'll crack 90 for sure. Um, but Chicago's got an outside shot. They've got some goaltending issues, but I think Chicago will still crack the 90-point barrier and that will be good enough for sixth. Sorry, for seventh. I keep getting, I keep getting myself confused. St. Louis fourth, Nashville fifth. Dallas 6th, Chicago 7th. So now we're back to who is going to get the 8th overall seed. Right now, San Jose holds it with 73 points. But San Jose is playing dog shit hockey right now. Uh, two wins in their last 10 games. That's not going to be good enough with the teams that they've got behind them playing much better hockey than that. You've got uh, Los Angeles who is playing, you know, 50-50 hockey right now, but they've, uh, they've got set plenty of time left. Uh, Colorado, who's playing really good hockey right now. You've got uh, Calgary, who's uh, sticking around there, getting points where they can. Um, so, you know, there's, there's a lot of good teams there within a couple of points, within, you know, a, two or three points of winning, that to, of winning uh, out to get that eighth overall spot. Now, who do I think is going to get it? This is rough because I've got, I know fans, personally, of each one of these teams. So I'm sure they're leaning right in and uh, waiting to hear what I'm going to say. Uh, the most adamant of those, of course, being probably Tony Cormier, who is a mad um, Colorado Avalanche fan. And this one was really tough. I had to think about this for quite some time, whether it was going to be... Uh, Colorado, L.A., or San Jose. Um, right off the bat, we're going to eliminate San Jose. I don't think San Jose... There, there's something fundamentally wrong with that team because it's a good team that's just not playing up to their potential at all. I mean, San Jose should really be fighting and fighting hard for a playoff for or to win their division. And I know they're only two points out and they've got a game in hand, but they're just not playing the hockey right now to justify 
any thoughts that they might come and win that division. So San Jose is out. So now it's either is LA going to make the playoffs or is Colorado going to make the playoffs? Um, Colorado's playing, arguably playing better hockey right now. Problem is they're giving up two games, two whole games to Los Angeles. LA's got 17 left, Colorado's only got 15. The eighth and final playoff spot in the Western Conference, I'm predicting, is going to go to the Los Angeles Kings. Uh, I think the Kings are going to make good use of those two games in hand that they've got on Colorado, and uh, they might only get in by a point, or even in a tie break, but I think L.A. will be the team that will get the eighth and final playoff spot in the West. All right, so let's uh, let's go over what uh, what we just learned. <laughs> uh, Eastern Conference, I'm predicting Rangers first overall, Bruins second overall, Panthers third overall, Penguins fourth overall, Devils fifth overall, Flyers sixth overall, Senators seventh overall, and Washington Capitals eighth overall, with the Winnipeg Jets and the Tampa Bay Lightning on the outside looking in. In the Western Conference, thank you. In the Western Conference, uh, I'm picking the Canucks to be the first overall seed, the Red Wings to be the second overall seed, the Coyotes to be the third overall seed, the Blues to be the fourth overall seed, Predators, fifth overall seed, Stars, sixth overall seed, Blackhawks, seventh overall seed, and the LA Kings, the eighth overall seed, with Colorado and San Jose on the outside looking in. If this were to come to pass, this would set up the following first round playoff matchups. In the East, 1v8 would be the Rangers versus the Capitals again. 2v7 would be the Bruins versus the Senators, which would be an all um, Northeast Division battle. Uh, 3v6 would be the Panthers taking on the Flyers, which I think would be an excellent playoff series. And 4v5 would be the Penguins taking on the Devils in a Atlantic Division, uh, all Atlantic Division series. And in the West, 1v8 would be the Canucks taking on the Kings. We would have 2v7 of the Red Wings and the Blackhawks, be another excellent series, I think. 3v6 of Phoenix versus Dallas. And that would be an all-Pacific Division uh, matchup, which would, I think, be great. And, of course, 4v5 would leave the Blues taking on the Nashville Predators in an all-Central Division series. Those are my predictions. That's who I think is going to win the divisions and make the playoffs in the NHL. Agree? Disagree? Awesome. Leave your comments below. Watch, like, all that good stuff. I'm Justin, Bridgewater's Finest on YouTube, Blockbuster underscore guy on Twitter. Happy hockey.